Hi, I'm Erica and I'm a digital marketing consultant and today I'm going to show you how to identify an ad that's poorly performing in the Google Ads platform and what to do in order to increase the performance. So the first thing we need to do is talk about CTR and CTR is a click-through rate and basically what that means is that an ad gets a certain amount of impressions and based on the amount of impressions and click-throughs that it gets, so people actually clicking on the ad, that's your click-through rate. So when you look at an ad to see how it's performing, what you want to do is compare it to the rest of the campaigns that are being run, which is your overall CTR, which you can see in your all campaigns view. And you also want to compare it to the overall CTR for that particular campaign and all of the ads within that campaign. So what I do is I look at the average CTR and I say, okay, this is, let's say 10% is the average CTR. Anything below 10% needs to be looked at and optimized. So if you have an ad, for example, that's performing at a 5% CTR, you want to look at why. One of the first things I do, because headlines are a huge factor in what causes someone to click through versus what doesn't, I would look at the higher performing ads based on CTR. And I would look and see what type of headlines am I using? What type of verbiage am I using? and maybe there's something that I'm utilizing in that ad that can be tested within the ad that's performing poorly. So what I would do is make a copy of that particular ad, and then I would change the headline, run it for 30 days, and then come back and check and see if the CTR for the new ad is higher than the old ad. If that's the case, then you know that it's your headline, and you can go ahead and pause the old ad and run the new ad. There's also headline two, there's also the description, there's headline three, there's um, right after your URL, the display that you have, like the display text. So it's yourdomain.com backslash and then display one or display two. It could be your call to action, whether it's contact us today, call us now, uh, get a free quote. You can test all different things like that. So the second element that we're going to look at are the number of conversions. Now you want to look at all of the ads within that one campaign and you want to compare it to the overall number of conversions. So let's say that you have an ad with a really high CTR, but you only have five conversions and the ad with the low CTR has 15 conversions and the total number of conversions for that particular campaign for that date range is 50. There are different things that you can do to increase the conversions for the ad that has the high CTR and there's different things that you can do in order to increase the CTR for the ad that has the most conversions. One of the things that I find that's super common with this is that if you put the price of whatever it is that you're selling in the ad, that's going to deter a lot of people from clicking on it because they're not qualified leads. So for example, if I'm offering digital marketing consulting services and I say that my monthly rate is $1,000, I'm gonna get a certain type of client. If I'm saying that I'm offering packages for $500, I'm going to get another type of client. And so what I'm going to do is test those different package levels to find those different size businesses with the budgets that work for my price point, and then they'll convert. So the last thing that you want to look at is the cost per conversion. One of the biggest costs that companies incur is pulling in new customers, right? So for a particular product or service, if there's only one time that you're going to sell that product or service, you're going to want to get the highest return for those marketing dollars as possible. So you're gonna to wanna to get the lowest cost per conversion as you possibly can. You have to be really careful with this because if it's leads, the lower that the cost per lead is, you might be getting junk leads. So what you don't wanna do is say, oh, I have a $5 cost per conversion, but you're selling a product that has like $300 profit margin. It's a very big margin product because it's a high priced item it's not realistic that you're gonna have a $5 cost per conversion. So what you wanna do is come up with a number that works, and once you see what the average cost per conversion is, if those leads are coming through in their quality, that's your target cost per conversion. So using those three elements, you can identify poorly performing ads, and you know what to do now in order to increase their performance. So I know that was a lot of information, but it's super helpful and it will definitely help you to increase the performance of your ads in the Google Ads platform. If you're a small business owner and you're ready to outsource this part of your business, I am a digital marketing consultant. So if you're interested in hiring me to manage your campaigns, click the link in this video's description so that you can get in touch with me.